So for day 22 on the 24 Days of AI app event calendar, I thought it might be useful to create a little video to go with the post today. Uh, as you'll be able to tell from the visual you're seeing right now, uh, we're exploring an AI tool today called Napkin. Uh, now, I'm not going to show my face and be some napkin head, and more's the pity I hear you say. Uh, but I'm going to talk through this fantastic tool with you and explain a little bit about what you can do with it and how to use it and get started and some potential uses for it and all that sort of thing. Uh, we hope you've been enjoying the 24 Days of AI 2024 Advent calendar. Please do leave uh, your thoughts and comments. Uh, and if you do like this video, then please obviously do hit the subscribe button. Uh, but let me just talk you through what Napkin is. Uh, and as you can see from the outsets, uh, when you visit napkin.ai, uh, you can see that it's a tool that helps you get visuals from your text. Uh, so how do you go about doing that? Well, you firstly start by pasting in text and you can actually uh, use the tool that I'll show you in just a few moments uh, to actually generate some text if you want to. But you can bring it in from sources like PowerPoint or Word or Google Slides or Google Docs, etc, etc. Uh, and then once it's in there, you can highlight areas of the text to generate visuals. And you can do that just by simply clicking on this sort of lightning icon you can see just here. Once it's there, you can do a few things to polish it up. Uh, you can change uh, some of the icons. <clears throat> you can swap them out. You can type in things and it'll bring up icons for you and all these sort of different things. Uh, and then once it's finished uh, and you've changed the colors and any fonts and all that sort of thing that you want, uh, you can easily share it via a URL link. You can download the visual as a PDF, uh, a PNG, Portable Network Graphic, or even a Scalable Vector Graphic, should you want to. So how do we get started? Well, it's free to uh, start using it. So uh, I've already got an account, so I'm just going to go straight here and sign uh, straight in. And I'm going to go to new napkin up here. Now, if you wanted to create something using their AI tool, you can go to this draft with the AI option here. Um, I'm going to go straight to blank napkin. And in fact, in uh, Blue Peter style, uh, I've got one I've made earlier. Uh, in that I'm going to get some text from a post that I wrote recently about universal design for learning. Learning. Here it is. And I could highlight the whole thing if I wanted to. It does automatically sort of pick up certain bits. Um, and one of the key sort of things with Universal Design for Learning are these three sort of things here uh, about uh, these three guiding principles, uh, multiple means of engagement, means of representation, and means of action and expression. Uh, so I'm going to actually include a bit more than just that. I'm going to include that little bit there, and I'm going to highlight all that there. And now I'm going to click onto the little... Uh, lightning icon here on the left hand side to generate the visuals and you can see some magic's happening and a few things are going on just here and then as if a magic it then presents you uh, with some options uh, <coughs> visual representations now you've got different styles and you can sort of hover over each of these on the left hand side and if you scroll through you can see there are more options as well okay um, so I, I quite like this one here Okay, but if I like to, if I wanted to change it a bit further, I can click on styles and it'll show me more multiple versions of what uh, uh, we saw originally with different colors and uh, layouts and all these different sorts of things here. Find one you actually like the look of. I quite like the look of, uh, let's try, where was it? This one, uh, I think it was this one just here. So I click onto here and now we've got the uh, item here. Now we can uh, click onto different sections within here and we can then do things to it. So I could maybe make it bold. Uh, I could change the fonts and go to charm and uh, any of these different things here. Uh, I won't spend much time fiddling around uh, with any of these things here. You can sort of change the colors. Uh, you can change the thickness and the style of it and all sorts of different things here. I'm not gonna bother with any of those though because once you've made it, you know, it's really, really simple to then extract it and use it elsewhere. So I could go onto these three dots here and change stuff over here, but I'm just going to go straight to the export option. And as you heard before, we've got PNGs, SVGs, PDFs. I'm going to go for a, a transparent PNG. So background is going to be off and my resolution is going to be high. And rather than download it, and we can see the resolution size here, 2202 by 1374. That's pretty good quality, right? I was going to hit the clipboard and it's copied it 
and I'm going to drop it straight into my uh, Google Slides presentation I've got over here already and it's now going to drop that straight in there for me. Now it's not the most ideal one on a uh, light background uh, so maybe I should just change that background to a darker colour uh, so that the whole thing sort of pops uh, a bit more than it otherwise would without it. There we go, looking much better. I'm now going to do another one based on the advent calendar. So I'm going to jump back into here. I'm going to go to a new napkin. And this time it's a blank napkin again. I'm just going to get my text. Uh, and this is uh, something from the um, advent calendar entry that went in yesterday uh, for CuriePod. So here is the information. And there are some key sort of um, features inside here. The AI whiteboard. I'm just going to take out some of these gaps in here because I don't want that in there. I don't want that in there. All that in there. Not quite sure why it's brought through all these extra uh, little bits in here. Just going to take those out. And I want the pole to be in there as well. Uh, so I want these three things. It's not brought across the images. That's why it's looking like this. So I'm going to highlight these things here and do this. I'm going to hit the representation option over here and it will now create for me based upon the text it's got there the different tools that are in there we go brilliant uh, i quite like uh, this first option here i'm going to go to styles i find a style that i like there we go and this time uh, on my export feature i'm actually going to give it a background so it stands out a bit more on that white background uh, and i'm going to say that straight to my clipboard after i've given it a big resolution so i'm going to hit clipboard again jump into here and then just paste it straight in to my presentation. The final one is going to be one linked into um, a, a teaching and learning activity. Uh, so a popular play often studied um, in secondary school by children, uh, given that many children have to study at least one uh, Shakespearean play, uh, a popular choice is often Romeo and Juliet. So here we've got a short essay, not written by me, uh, written by ChatGPT, uh, based on the AQA requirements for teaching uh, when it relates to Romeo and Juliet. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna, before I do this, I'm just going to sort of point out this bit at the end where it talks about the interplay of the themes. The three uh, sort of themes are love, conflict, and family. And then it has a section here around about an interplay of themes. Now, if you were teaching this, the ability to actually represent the interplay of themes visually be, would be a great hook to uh, try and explain this topic to uh, to children. Uh, so you could have it uh, in one of these many uh, different sorts of ways here. Uh, that's a nice one there. I like that an actual awful lot. Uh, but let's just have a look at the other options that is picked up for us. Um, it clearly looking at the context in here as well. Uh, this is quite nice, actually, the little uh, diagram here. This is superb. In fact, I love this one. I'm going to choose this one here. And uh, there's some different coloured options. Uh, I'm going to go for this option uh, just here. Superb. Themes in Romeo and Juliet, family's influence, love duality, conflicts and tragedy. Fantastic. So really quick, simple. You saw how quick it made it, right? Uh, super quick, easy, fantastic tool uh, called napkin.ai. And you'll find this presentation um, uh, included in the post. Um, so I'll share this uh, in the post. And obviously, this video will be there for you to look at and uh, refresh yourself with and have a little look at yourself. Uh, the tool, as I mentioned, is napkin.ai. You can sign up for free and uh, please do check it out. And all of the other tools that have been shared on this year's 24 Days of AI on AppBent 2024. My name is Mark Anderson, ICT Evangelist, and I hope you found this useful. Please do hit that subscribe button. But for now, it's almost Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody.